Of all the big country residents we've done stories about, these next two are possibly the most well-traveled. <laughs> and if you can believe it, Sandy Hazlip and Ellie Hamby, who traversed the world in 80 days, are setting off again on an international adventure. In fact, I think they've already taken off, mm -hmm. ready to bring their optimism and friendship to all the new places they're visiting. They left last Thursday, but just a few days earlier, they actually sat down with KTAB's Noah McKinney for a pre-trip interview as they prepare to take the world by storm again. In 2023, the world followed Ellie Hamby and Sandy Hazlip across the globe in just 80 days. And with memories like these... It's hard to imagine there's nothing y'all haven't checked off yet. <laughs> <laughs> there is a whole world of things there ready for us to check off. So. Absolutely. Well, with a couple of gals that were on the run at 81, it stands to reason that just one year later... We are 82 and we're not through. Hazlip and Hamby have set off once again for distant shores, planning to spend 30 30 days on every continent. This first adventure takes them to South America. Sandy and I firmly believe in trusting in our Lord and being thankful for the opportunities that he gave us and just get out and and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the world that he created. And while I could go on and on about every amazing stop they have planned, they do a pretty good job of that on their social media pages. When you look at the comments, it's all about friendship. We can do this. You know, these are younger girls. You know, age should not, you know, limit us, but they're tagging their friends, and uh, it's just been a really beautiful thing to see. And if you ask them, that's exactly what their travels have been about. Our friendship really developed out of two really terrible tragedies. Mm -hmm. The first was... My husband's loss. I was struggling with the loss of my, sudden loss of my husband. And I knew she was. I mean, I had experienced that, and I thought, she needs a real close friend at this time. A friendship that spanned decades and continents. Remember, our trip around the world wasn't our first yeah. adventurous travel. Yeah. What has changed is their audience, a whole new platform for them to spread the same message they've always been preaching. The world needs to hear that you can enjoy life at any age and that you need to trust in humanity. A worldview that rivals the wonders they've seen and shows no signs of slowing down. We're going to travel as long as we can. In fact, if we, we've got one for 85, and it's Andy, what is it? We're 85 and, and still, still alive. <laughs> for BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Oh, what great ladies. Uh, Noah, thank you, Noah. Um, yeah. Hazlip and Hamby, they say, aside from their travels, they are most looking forward to the release of their book titled Happy Place. They set to come out in a year from now, February 2025, including their incredible tales of adventure. But they say it will also be focusing on the infectious worldview of connection and positivity. So entrepreneurs along with it. And their passports have to be this thick <laughs> yeah. for all the pages, all, all, the, the, all the staffs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just Bravo. a great, yeah. great pair. And we'll certainly hear more and follow Following them on, along. on this adventure. <laughs> you bet.